YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate you guys a lot for subscribing to my channel, watching my videos, and liking my videos. I do appreciate you guys a lot. So, guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to cut um, an asymmetric gown with um, double and two and um, puff sleeves. So, one part of the gown is actually an off shoulder, then the other part is um. It's, it is a shoulder. So guys, if you like what I'm putting on my dress, I'm going to drop the link down on the description box so you could um watch the video on how to make this so you could see it is actually a bust here, but um just watch the video. So um my online classes um uh, for next month uh registration have actually started. So if you're interested, just uh, contact me with the, the number on the description box. So the next thing I'm going to say that if you are new to my channel, you're very welcome. If you have not subscribed, you would uh, consider subscribing. I would appreciate if you would and do that. So let's just get straight and to the business of the day. So I'm going to be making use of this uh, silky uh, fabric to cut out this gown. It is uh, what I actually have here is uh, two yards. So the measurement I'm going to be making use of the, the bust is actually uh, 34 inches and then the hip is uh, 38 inches so that's just like the two and um, basic uh, measurement that we really need okay guys so i've cut out and uh, the amount of fabric that i'm going to use so this is for the upper part of the my bodies because it is actually uh divided into two but and this dress is not a bust here but you can make it into a bust here if you want to so i have the back and the front so i used uh my bust and uh, measurements that's what i used to measure out the amount of fabric that I need. So you divide your bust measurement into four and then you add um, between three and five inches allowance to what you have. So that will enable you to fold your fabric. So I have some lines here. The first line I have here is my shoulder line. So this is what I'm going to start with. And then for my shoulder, this is my bust line. This is my under bust and then this is my waist and line. So from my shoulder to my waist and then my under bust sorry from my shoulder to my bust under bust and then my waistline which that is where i'm going to cut cut it from that's where we're going to cut the dress from so the first measurement we're going to measure now is the shoulder and the shoulder that i'm using for this and dress i'm using seven inches when you divide and 14 the full and shoulder measurement is 14 so you divide 14 into two you have seven inches so this is seven inches and then i'll add one inch as allowance so from this point like this i'm just going to come down i'm going to use an uh, eight inches for my armhole and uh, measurement so i'm just going to mark it like this because the full armhole is actually 16 the round armhole so i'll use eight inches for it we divide it into two so i'm just going to use my curve and then I'll curve it out. If you don't have a pattern curve, you can improvise. You can actually make use of your hand. Okay, so the next measurement is the bust and measurement. And I'm going to be inserting it under the armhole. And then and my bust is actually 34 inches. So when you divide 34 into 4, you have 8.5. So I'm just going to take it like this. And then I'll mark my 8.5 here. And then I'm going to add... At, like at least two and a half inches allowance because i'm going to be taking out one inch from the dart so you could add, add as much as three inches so the next uh, measurement i'm going to measure up next the under bust and uh, measurement which is on 30 so when you divide 30 into four you have 7.5 and then i'm going to add my two and a half allowance also I'm just going to mark it like this and then my waist line and measurement that's the half cut that i'm making use of is actually at 36 inches so i'm just going to add my allowance also so i'm just going to mark it like this so i have my measurement so this is the back piece it is one inch and bigger than the front because of the the zipper so I'm going to cut out the back and the front together now. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to insert on the neck line for this. So we're going to insert the neckline. Inserting a neckline for an asymmetric um, 
blouse like this, top, gown, whatever, you have to consider the shoulder and measurement. So you are going to determine how wide. So this is this was actually the seven inches line. How wide you want one part of the shoulder to be. So that is what you use. So you could decide to make you so from this is from this point. You could decide to make it and three inches. You could decide to make it two inches. So it depends on how wide you want it to be. So for this case, I'm going to be making it of about two and a half. So the shoulder part is going to be two and a half. That's the part that has the shoulder. So I'm just going to take the back and the front like this. I'm going to notch it on this point. So I'm going to notch it on this point. And then I'm going to keep the back piece on the side. And then I'll work with the front and piece. So this is what I meant when I was saying... So this is the point where I notch for my shoulder. So the width of my shoulder, that's the width of the shoulder is going to be this part. So from this point now, you are going to float the shoulder to one side because um, it is a floating shoulder. It's symmetrical, usually I'm floating shoulders. So you are going to float the shoulder. So you are going to determine how and uh, wide, how deep you actually want uh, your float to be. You could decide to make use of your entire armhole a line for the floating or you could decide to make it a little bit uh, higher depends on how exposed you want it to be so I'm just going to come to this point like this and then I'm going to measure about uh, 7 inches so I'm going to measure use about 7 inches I'm going to float about 7 inches so from this point this is the center of my my the neckline so I'm going to measure how and uh, wide I want the neckline to be from this point so I'm just going to make use of six inches from this point so this is here is just what I'm going to do so from this point this is my notch point I'm just going to create a, a line like this so from this point like this you're just going to create it so you see it is really simple to mark, mark out and such a neckline so you see what I've created it is really um, not a really big and deal to create so with this you are going to have a very modest and uh, floating shoulder and um, on this dress so in cutting out here is what we are going to do we are going to place the front and the back together so here is what i'm going to do now i'm going to pin my and uh, the back piece on the zipper allowance point i'm going to pin it because when cutting like this you are you are going to open it up the back and the front you are going to cut both of them together or else you would run into problems so i'm just going to pin pin it so i'm going to open it so i finish and pinning it so i'm going to open it up like this now i'm going to take this i'm going to place them together the back and the front i'm going to place them together and then i'm going to cut them so you are going to cut it both of them opened up like this so that's the way you are going to get it accurately or else you will miss it all up so i'm going to cut now and then show cut the down part of my um, blouse of the gown so you see what we have so the next thing we're going to do now we're going to mark out the dart so in creating the dart you're just going to fold it back you could do that even before you cut out the neckline and then i'm just going to notch it I'm going to use half of my bust and spam measurement for my dart. So I'm just going to come to this point like this and then I'll measure 4 inch. So this is 4 inches. I will just put a notch on it because it's just a, a waist dart. So I'll put a notch like this. Okay, so I'm just going to open it up now. So this is the, the back. And then this is the front. So the next thing we're going to cut out, and so I'll keep the back on the side and let's work with the front. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you how to cut out the sleeve for this. So, but before I cut out the sleeve, I'm going to use uh, my skirt pattern, my pencil skirt pattern to cut out the down part. So I'm not going to be going over it all over. It's just a pencil skirt um, for the down part. So I'm going to use this to cut it out. I'll put the link for those of you that don't know how to cut a pencil skirt. I'm going to put the link on the description box. So I'll fold my fabric and then cut out before we continue. So I'll finish I'm cutting it out. So I'm just going to keep this on the side. And then we're going to work on the sleeves now. So I'm going to bring this back. So in cutting out the sleeve, the first and sleeve, we're going to cut out a regular 
and puff sleeve for the first and side. So I already have a video of it on my channel, but I'm just going to go over it again. So we're going to use um you're going to uh, measure your armhole, what you actually have, and then you're going to it depends on how wide you want it to be, you're going to double it. So I have a 10 inches, so I, I'm going to cut out because it is pleated, I'm going to cut out 20 inches um round armhole. That's for the first one. Because from the picture, you can see that they are not the same, the both sleeves. One is bigger. I'm going to measure out the length of the sleeve. So I'm going to use 13 inches and in length. So I'll cut it out first. Okay, I'm just going to create my round and sleeve. You can decide to use um, the slash and spread method for this, but since it is not really a big sleeve, so you can just freehand it like this. So you just measure your the arc to be 20 inches, depends on the inch you want. And then you're going to measure how wide you actually want the down part also to be. So you're just going to mark it like this. And then you measure out the length of your, of your sleeve. And then I'll cut it out now. So I've cut out one. So the next one we're going to cut out now is the off and shoulder one. So this one, this first one that we cut out is actually for for this. So I'm just going to uh, pleat it to create and uh, your round and to, to to pleat it into this point, and then you use your rubber band, your rubber band for this side. That's your elastic. So I'm going to um, pin it later when I'm done. So we're going to cut out the off and shoulder sleeve now from this side. So in cutting out the off shoulder, you're going to use half of your armhole and um, half of your, your round sleeve measurement. That's this point. That's what you're going to use. So for mine, I'm still going to use um, 20 inches because I'm, I'm going to be pleating it. So I'll use the same um, 20 inches that I used for this. That is what I'm going to use. So this is how we're going to... To fold it, fold out our fabric to get that off shoulder sleeve. So for the second, the off shoulder part of our um, gown. So I'm going to measure my um, round sleeve measurement. So that is on this part, the round sleeve measurement. So I'm using 20 inches again because I'm going to be pleating it. So and then you, I'll measure the length also. I'm making use of the same 13 inches that I use for the first one. So this is 13 inches. So from this point now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to measure how uh, this the inch that I'm going to use to, to stitch it. So for this, because if you see from the picture up there, the inch that, that was stitched on it, that's from the, the arm, the armhole point, so that's the armpit and part, is just about um between two and three inches stitch. So now I'm going to create that two and three inches and two or three inches and um, line. So it depends on how um, long you want to. So what I mean is this. So it depends on how how long you want it to be as in the connecting. So it is um, advisable that you use about two inches. So you stitch and in connecting that sleeve, you're just going to connect it to this point. So I'm going to use um, two inches from this point. I'm just going to come like this. I'll create out about two and a half inches. So I'm going to use the two and a half inches for, for stitching. So from this point, I'm just going to create like a slant like this. Like a slant. So this is the point. This is going to be like my arm hole. That's where I'm going to stitch. And then the next thing I'm going to create now is my sleeve and length. So from this point, I'm just going to... So it depends on how I'm just going to add my um, the width that's this down part. So that's what I'm going to create here now. So since I'm going to be pleating it, I'm going to make use of 10 inches. So which is 20 inches. It is on fold. So from here, I'm just going to slant it like this. So I hope you understand what I mean. So this is the part we're going to be fixing. So this part is going to be pleated. This are uh, small parts, this three inches portion. That's what we're going to connect. To this um, point like this, and then so I'll cut it out now. I'll use my pin to pin it for you to understand what I am saying. So I'm just going to pin it for you to see now, so you understand 
what I'm talking about. So the first thing you are going to pin now, if you are going to use, if you are going to be making use of your, if you are going to be making use of an elastic, you can just um, pin, you can just use your elastic. But if you are not going to use, make use of elastic, if you are going to, if you just want to pleat it, you are going to use your half of your round sleeve measurements. So this is half of your round sleeve measurement from this point to this point. So that is what you are going to use to pleat this part. You pleat it, let it fit, let it fit into and uh, just your, your sleeve measurement. So what I'm going to pleat here now, you're going to pleat five inches. You know it was actually ten inches. So you're going to pleat it, let it be five inches. So that five inches, once you see because your round sleeve measurement at this point is ten inches, so you pleat it to five inches. So I've pleated it now. So, so you see our opening. This is the, the opening that we have. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pleat this down part. So this down part also, you are going to pleat it, let it fit into your 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 sleeve. That's this point now. The down part of your round armhole. That's your depends on where you want your sleeve to be. So I'm just trying to pleat it. So you can decide to use elastic to do all these things that I'm doing. So you see my sleeve. So it's looking like what we have on the picture. So I'm going to keep it on the side and then work on the bigger one on the other one also. So this one also you are still going to pleat to fit into your round um to fit into your armhole. So you are going to pleat this part now to fit into your armhole. And then you pleat the down part also. So you see it is pleated. So this slit, this one is going to be like this now. This one is going to be like this. So you are going to fix it like this. And then this one. So remember this and three inches points that will pin. So you could decide to reduce it to as much as two inches because there are some sleeves that you will see that they fix. It is just fixed with about one tiny inch. You see them, there are some sleeves, you see it's just um, pinned um, to the armhole, the down part of the armhole with about one inch. So you could dis determine uh, how much, how much um, um, inch you want to use. You can decide to use one inch or two inch. So I'm just trying to trim this point properly. So that's what we're going to be attaching. So like I said, if you want it and smaller, you can reduce it to as much as you want. So this is the off shoulder part of the sleeve. So it's going to be like this now. So this one is going to sit. This one is going to sit here like this. And then this one. So this is the, the part. So this is just the tiny inch. So I've reduced it to about one inch now. So this is our, the part, this is the down part of the sleeve. So this side is just going to stay like this. So you're just going to connect this small point now to your sleeve on to your to the bodies the upper part of the body so you're just going to use uh, if you are using one inch or two inch you're just going to connect it to this point and then you stitch and then you stitch this point and then this is the down so it's, it's just going to sit like this so that is what you see on that picture and then this one is going to stay like this so guys so you see this is just and um, basically and um, this dress so i'm just going to fix it arrange it all up so i'll keep the back side the back piece on the side 
and then I'll just um, arrange this so for you to see it, see what I have, for you to see it properly on the table. So this one is going to be attached, so I'm just going to pin it, I'll use my pin like this to pin it. So I'm just going to fix it with about one inch on that point, one or two inch, so it depends as the case may be. So it's going to sit like this. Okay, guys, so you could see what we have at the end of the day on the table. So I'm so happy it came out and the cutting actually came out well. So when it's teaching, like I said, on this point, you just use your one inch or two inch, just attach it to the edge of the neckline. That's, and then this part is the part that when you wear, it's going to fit into and this point of your sleeve. That's this point. That is why you have to pleat it up to your round and sleeve measurement. And then this other one, you are just going to fix it like this. And then this is our skirt. So you connect both of them together and then you have your full um, asymmetric um, pencil gown or a floating shoulder pencil gown. So it depends on what you actually want to call this. So guys, so thank you so much. I've now come to the end of this, um, um, what do we call it? This um, illustration, this um, video tutorial for today. So, if you actually like what I did with um, this um, video, so let me, let me release my hair. <laughs> so, if you like what I did with this um, video, so do not hesitate, I'm just kidding. Do not hesitate to hit on the like button. Subscribe if you have not subscribed already to my channel. So, thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in my next video. So, I'm just going to do a turn around. <laughs>